So last week, my internet went out. And long story short, it was my firewall that just went bad or something. I'm not actually sure what's wrong with it. But funny thing is, is both of my PFSense routers were doing the exact same thing. Uh, The one I had on the shelf had kind of gone bad about a month ago, maybe even two or three months ago, and I had not gotten around to updating it. And so this video is to show you how I've upgraded or updated my uh, PFSense box to function and how to take a backup file and get up and running as fast as possible. So let's jump into it and I'll show you where to go. So as you can see, I have serial open here on my computer and I'm gonna open, I have, uh, as you can see here, I have my NetGate box plugged in over USB, but the power cable is not plugged in yet. So we'll hit open and as soon as I plug power in, you'll see that now we get functionality, but I don't want to keep going yet. Um, I quit that, pull it out. I've got this USB key here that I've gone ahead and set up with the PFSense installer. It's not the latest and greatest, but it's what NetGate gave me a while ago, and so we're gonna use that, and then we'll go ahead through the upgrade process to get things rolling. So we'll go ahead and plug it in, and I'll show you what happens here in Serial. Before we even get into doing it, let me show you the error I was getting. So reboot, and we're gonna let it auto boot, and I'll show you what happens. get all these warnings and it doesn't like to boot but it's not actually going to function even though it's here on the main page we get all kinds of errors it's all kinds of issues so it will fail out here soon so what we're going to do is we, we will choose number five and reboot it and as you can see warning after warning after warning Um, The likelihood is I'm going to have to, yeah, I have to pull power and we'll go from there. So pulled power and again, we'll get back into instead of auto boot, um, we will run recovery. So now we type in the destination and I want my M.2 device, not the EMMC, so ADA0. And yes, we wanna do that. It is gonna wipe the drive, that's okay. Um, I have a backup right here, so let's move forward. So we've already installed, we'll reboot and go from there. Now that we're up and running, we can go ahead and jump into the GUI and basically do no setup. We'll just restore our uh, backup file. So now that we are connected, what we'll do is figure out what our IP address is. So now that we have our IP address, we can go ahead and open a new window here and go to 192.168.1.1 and that's fine. I know that it's not private. We can visit the website anyways. And then to log in, the username is admin and pfsense. And I don't need to save that. And we're just gonna bypass this whole setup, jump to diagnostics, 
backup and restore, and then choose our file, which is on the desktop, and choose for upload. I know it's not the latest. It, like I said, I don't have a, I didn't have a backup that was the latest and greatest. Anytime you do work on your device, just pull a backup. It saves you a lot of headache. So we'll just choose this one and then we will go ahead and restore the configuration. I'm not gonna reinstall packages, but yeah, we'll restore. So now as you can see, um, I should have a WAN address, I don't. Um, and my LAN is set up, all of my VLANs are set up, and if I were to go ahead and put this in in place of my current router, this would function properly. So I can um, see that I have an IP address on the LAN. So if I were to go to uh, 192.168.5.1 and the same port I've been using, and then um, unlock one password, we can go out to our admin, sign in, and it's the same password that I used before. We'll accept that. Um, as you can see, packages are being installed, reinstalled in the background. It's not going to see any updates until I plug it into the network that actually has internet. Um, and we'll do that upgrade in the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing hitting the bell icon for notifications on when I post more content, and that thumbs up button if you've liked this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya!